Hey guys, out here knocking out a uh, paint job on these lids here. I got them dipped in tall earth. If you go out there, that tall earth uh, preservative, I dipped them. This whole box has been dipped in that stuff. Uh, I ran out of this paint. It's the Oops paint. You get it Lowe's. Here's another can of Oops paint. Valve, uh, Valve Spar Pro. Storm coat, satin, exterior, nine dollars. That's a twenty-six dollar can of paint, guys. So they had like they had like five cans of that stuff down there. So I ran out of that color. So painting the lids. I'm painting the lids. I got one more coat, and these are ready to go in the staging lanes. So we can start loading them up with bees. I've got a, uh, I've got a uh, nine more cut out, ready to assemble. So that'll give us like 20, 21 boxes. So that'll, that'll, that'll be pretty good for a little while. We'll see how those roll. All right, we're going to get into, uh, we're going to get into some uh, hives out here, and I've got a, we're going to go on a little uh, queen cell search. Is what we're going to do. And uh, also, I got to get to that other yard. My uh, hand, my hand here is starting to itch. Whenever my hand starts itching here, means I'm I'm gonna make some money. So yeah, we got to get over there. I've got two colonies over there. We'll see if those queens made it back from their mating flight. Look at them, see how they're doing. If they're doing fine, we're going to load them up and get them back here to base camp. And uh, put a for sale sign on them. Yes. If the pattern's right, you know, if they look good, we'll get them, we'll get them out of here. And uh, reload them and make more bees. And we're going to try to, I've got one colony here we want to set up. Hopefully, if I can find that queen. If not, we're going to shake them all down in the bottom box. And just give a few couple frames for her to work down there and some planes. We're going to put the rest upstairs above an excluder. And uh, that's the plan anyway. Whether it happens or not, I don't know. Do we get in the box and see what we got to work with? And um, that way we'll wait a few days and go back down and see if we can't find her at that point in time. We're going to convert that. If we do find her, we're going to convert that hive to a cell builder and I'm going to move her just right next door but I'm going to turn the hive in a different direction and let all that field force go back into that colony with no queen so that's the plan I'll get with you in a bit let me knock out the rest of this paint the rest of these lids and we'll get out there and get in a beehive see you soon All right, guys, let's quit clowning around and get to work here. We got lots to do today. We no time to play. All right. Well, they're flying good today, guys. Bringing in pollen. Happy little campers, yeah. What have I got in this box? Ooh, a bunch of sugar ants. Yep, sugar ants. There's some old comb. I don't see any I don't see any wax moth happening yet. Bunch of nasty drone comb there. Might be able to utilize some of this stuff. All right, what I'm going to do if I can't find that queen, we're going to use one of these boxes of funnel, and funnel them all into one. And uh, what's going on here? Yeah, they're eating that thing way back. I got to have to reload that with pollen. Let's walk around this yard here a little bit real quick. I got extra boxes. I got four extra H there. I may have another one. We got to go in here to uh, 
423. This one I added a jar of syrup on. Got to go in here on 423. Uh, these little nooks are flying here, but how well we don't know. I'm going to give them another week and then we'll peek in there. Let's go down the line, look at things here. Here's another 323, and I like the looks of this. See that, guys? That's pollen, and that little girl just walked in. That That's exciting. I like that. What's going on here with these guys? You got pollen coming in here, girls? Yep, I just saw one come in with pollen. There's another one. Beautiful. What's going on here? Yep, one just came in with pollen. I like that. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. All right. I'm gonna check on four, when did you check in that one on four, four, six, check on four, six. These guys are coming in good. What do they got, pollen? Big old fatty drone right there. Go to work, boy. Breed some queens. I'm sitting there laying on that friggin' landing, acting all sterile. I was acting sterile like Joe Biden. Oh, stop it, Steve. Yeah, these girls are coming in nice. Got a nice little pack of bees here on this little nook here. I'm going to check on 4-6. Actually, before that, we'll peek in there. This girl here is doing good. I think I gave this one a jar. Yeah, I gave this one a jar of syrup this morning. I'm getting a few bull ants still here. Freaking bull ants. And I just... I just gobber jobbered that up with more tangle foot on these rails. All these rails I hit with tangle foot. But here's what the problem is with tangle foot, guys. It's a, it's a pain. As the, as the oak leaves fall, they're sitting there falling on your tangle foot, which is doing what? Don't get this crap on you guys. It's nasty. Baby oil will take it off, but this stuff's nasty. Uh, I just got some on me. Way to go, Steve. Way to go. That's great. Look at this little lizard head sticking out here. Whoops. He said bye. Okay. So let's quit fooling around here. I got the smoker fired up. Let's go in here. Oh, that stuff's nasty. That stuff is nasty. What have I got here? Little Johnson's baby oil. I know guys, you're thinking I'm you're thinking I'm acting like a little baby, I know. Better take my vinegar with me. That Tanglefoot guy is, is some kind of nasty. I was out here one day, had my ventilated suit on. They were pretty ticked off that day for whatever reason. And I went, I was working a beast and I took my leg, my knee rather, and I was squatted down and I oh, forgot what I was doing and my knee went right into that stuff. Oh yeah, you talk about nice. I had that, I had that sticky stuff all over me. I like to miss my hands, shirt, and everything. My back. Sometimes you'd be working along really nice, not bothering a soul, and one will center punch you right in the back. And this is just a lightweight fishing shirt. 
see here live to fish yeah it's a lightweight fishing shirt and I like these because you can be out in this Florida heat and these lightweight fishing shirts breathe a little bit for you okay maybe we'll get lucky and find this girl right from get-go here that would be nice I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this up now Before I even get started let's take our bottom here screen bottom and turn it in the opposite direction of this cone I got the entrance there See what we'll do, we'll, if we find her, we'll put her in here with just a m minimal amount of frames. And uh, put a feeder on her. Put some extra comb in here, like these combs over here, where she can lay in it. And uh, I haven't set, set up my grafting cell bar yet, but I need to do that. And uh, we will we'll put that inside of this box and we set her up with some empty frames that'll give her time to lay in here in about three days we should have some cells we can uh, some larvae we can graft from and by then we'll put we'll put our cell bar in here and they'll have it all spit shine and polished for us to where it'll be ready to accept where it'll be ready to accept uh, queen cells Let's make sure she's not on this lid here I don't see any high beetles running around that's nice there's my high beetle trap right there that's probably needs to get changed out as soon as I start seeing a few high beetles those traps are going back in guys yeah. All right, baby girl, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? You can't hide from old Steve-O. A lot of bees. A lot of bees, a lot of nectar, a lot of... I've got a lot of drone larvae here oh there she is there she is guys right there would you believe it would you believe it the first frame I pulled she, there she is there she is right there you see her carnolian sweet alright baby girl you're going right in here For that frame you're on what else you got to go with her? Let's see here. Okay, there's lots of larvae here. There's seal brood, there's larvae. How good is that look, guys? Oh yeah, there's a lot of nurse bees there. We're going to leave this just like this, guys. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give her this frame here. We'll move it out to the outside. I got this frame here. It's got some nice cells on it. Nice worker cells. Empty, right? Let's put that puppy right there next to her. Let's move her let's over. Boy, that frame's heavy. It's loaded with stuff. Yeah. 
I hate that comb. That, that comb there is going to get melted down. Let's let them work on this drone comb. Let's let them work on that drone comb, guys. All right. Put that on there. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave that one frame out because I'm going to come back here a little bit, and I'm going to install my. I've got to melt some wax first. I've got a JZBZ bar. It's all plastic bar, and I and I've got. The ones that the cell cups that go in that bar have got the little nipples on them, the little pegs. We'll load that up. I'll probably do just one bar. We'll see how the one bar goes. I think I can get 15 cells per bar. And uh, I'll give away some cells to my buds, whatever. But you can see this colony, guys, this colony is beautiful. Look at this. Nobody's jumping on me. They haven't realized they're queenless yet. She cranks out eggs, a beautiful pattern. She's carnolian. Okay. Gonna give this girl a thumbs up. All right. This is the kind of stuff you wanna breed from. Now, she wintered over, like I told you before, she wintered over with not a whole lot of stores left. But a th cool thing about carnolians when there's a slowdown in nectar, they pretty much slow down in egg laying. That's the beauty of these little beasts. And that's what I've got in these boxes here. All these, these ones I just got from Sebastian. But they were weak. And we had a cold snap. So I don't know if these guys have toasted out on me or not. So we'll see. But maybe we can get a couple rounds of queen cells out of this one. And so I'm going to shut this thing up and uh, go around to some of these other colonies, see if we can't find some more swarming cells. And uh, go from there. I'll tell you what, I probably should pop a couple of these and peek and see if I've got any swarming cells in this one. Let's do a quick inspection here to make sure we don't have any queen cells going on here. Because this, this girl here is going into her second year. She's going into her second year. So a lot of times that's what happens. Heavy frame here. Look at that pattern. See, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Look at this pattern. This is the kind of girl you want right here. Look at that. See, that's what makes a beekeeper happy, guys. I know what you're thinking, guys. Sure doesn't take a whole lot to entertain you, does it, Steve-O? No, it don't, really. I'm actually a very cheap date, you know. This is beautiful here. This is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. It's just packed out. This thing is packed out, and I'm telling you right now, guys, there's no queen cells in here. This thing is packed out, and it's got a ton, ton of nurse bees in it. It's just packed. All right, I don't need to look any further here. Well, I'm already here. Let's go ahead and pull these guys here.
No. There's no, there's no, hardly any nectar here though. Let's pull this one. They got a ton of pollen. Ton of pollen. I'll, I'll tell you what we're going to do with this one, guys. I'm going to put this one back in. My my cell bar is going to go dead center in this colony, but this is solid pollen. I've been stung twice in this hive, but it's been my fault. I pinched a bee. These girls are not aggressive whatsoever. All right. Put a little smoke on that sting. All right, this afternoon I'm coming back and I'll open this colony up. I'm going to stick that bar in there, that queen cell bar. Come on, girls, get out of the way. All right, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a feeder on that thing in just a few minutes. So that's cool, guys. We got our cell builder started. We got her over here. We're gonna rob our eggs from her in about three days. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna put a feeder on this thing. Keep the food pumped to both of these colonies. I'm going to go back in here today. I'm going to put that grafting frame in there, that cell bar. They're going to spit, shine, and polish them puppies. In the meantime, also, they're going to start drawing out queen cells. They don't have a queen in here, okay? So in three days, we're going to come in here and do our grafting. We're pulling out those cells they made. We're going to look over that entire hive and tear out any cell that's in there. We're gonna grab them cells, pull them apart, throw away the queen that's in there, and depending on how many they make, I may rob some of those cells and, and put in other colonies, but what I'm gonna do is rob the royal jelly out of those cells and add just a drop, just a drop or so, dilute it with distilled water, and I'm gonna prime all those cell cups where I'm ready to graft. All right, so that's the deal. We're setting up this cell builder. We're gonna rock and roll. We're gonna make some queens. If you got extra queens, cells, I'm not set up here to sell queens or cells, but I can sell nukes. And I'm not paying the state another $25 to sell a queen. That ain't happening. I'm gonna, I will give the cells away. I will give the cells away before I pay the state of Florida another 25 bucks. That's just me, okay? All right, see you in a bit. Okay, guys. You're in uh, Steve-O's Bee Lab here. An old Steve-O's Bee Lab. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't let Miss Daisy come in here, please, guys. Don't let her come in here. Oh my goodness. She, you know, she wanted to come in here. She wanted to come in here, guys, but I tricked her. I, I told her, I said, that, that shed is full of snakes and she is petrified of snakes, guys. So I tricked her. Don't tell her what I just said, okay? But uh, that's, you know, cause I know where everything, I know this looks disorderly to you, but I know where everything is. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys this bar here. Uh, this is just a, this is just a little frame. And I just put some, I just put some uh, screws in here because they kind of sit in here like so. And they kind of rock and roll like that. See, kind of rock and roll like that. 
they just sit on there. They have special bars, but you don't need it. All you need to do is put a deck screw in there. And they just kind of hook and hang right there like that. And these are new cups. I've heard some of the guys say you, you can use the reuse these, boil them and all that, but I don't think I don't think these have been used quite a bit. I've used these quite a bit in the past, and you see they're not really that tight in there. And you get a heavy queen cell, they're gonna be hanging like this. They could fall out, and once they fall out, they're they're toast. So what I got here is a little old crock pot with some beeswax in it. And uh, it'll take a half hour or so for that to get melted down. And then I got me a little purdy brush here. And what we'll do is dip in this wax. And I'll just go along this edges here with that wax on both sides. And let that wax run down between the cups a little bit. And that'll lock them in there really nice for us. So we don't have any dropout problems. So we just load this puppy up with some new, I got some new new cells here. I got some JB, JZBZ uh, queen cages here. They're kind of cool. They got a candy tube on them. I think this is 15 on this bar as I recall. It's been a long time since I grabbed it. I've been doing, last couple years I've been doing a lot of walkaways and um, but I want to try to get into guys breeding with my better queens and um, try to breed it. Because half the, half the battle on these queens is, uh, you know, your starting stock. Now, whether she runs out there and who she breeds with, we don't know. But at least we got half the battle done. So these Jay-Z BZ cups are nice. They got that little peg. So I got, I'm going to load two of these bars. Here's a brand new one. You can see they darken up a little bit after the bees work them a little bit. Here's a brand new one. And uh, see those fit in there. They snap in tight on them brand new bars. You could probably get away with it, and I have. I've, I've just taken a brand new bar and snapped them in. I've never had a cell, you know, fall out. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 That's what I thought. So that's what we got. And so I'm waiting for that wax to melt. I'm going to load up two bars. That way we'll have them ready to rock and roll. Because I want to do a bunch of cell grafting this, this summer. And I think we're going to be able to get two rounds of cells out of that starter. Or out of that uh, starter. It's going to be actually a starter finisher colony is what it's going to be. And she, the, our mother, is right next door producing. She's gonna keep, I'm gonna keep pumping the sugar water, them things. And her baby girls are gonna make her keep cranking. She's gonna keep cranking eggs. So we'll have a constant supply. So every day, we'll time it to where every, about before, uh, three to four days before we want our graft to happen, we'll slip in a frame that has nothing in it just drawn comb to where she can jump right in there and lay them eggs so now we're going to have it's kind of a timing thing you want those those larvae at the right stage very very small comma you're looking for on them things so as soon as they hatch they turn into a little comma those are the puppies you want to graft into these cups if you get them any bigger you're not going to have a very good queen. And like I said, they should be cranking out plenty of cells that we can steal royal jelly from to prime these. And to prime them, all I use is a wood matchstick, the smaller matchsticks. I mix up the royal jelly with a few drops of uh, distilled water. And then I, I have a little cup, and I dip into that into that, that matchstick in there and boom and it just puts the right amount a matchstick puts the right amount of jelly in the bottom of those cups and uh, then we can graft into that okay so we'll get into the grafting thing which will be cool and uh, here's that that tray again and here's that little all that is is a half inch sweat cap that's one gram of acid that you put in your cups. I haven't drilled the hole yet, but that little puppy's gonna sit there so we don't lose it, you know? It's, it's, it's just one more item to lose. I've lost, a, I've lost a friggin' hive tool 
out here in the apiary somewhere. I can't find it. And so you got to have, you know, you got to have everything organized. See, you got everything organized so you can find stuff. All right. All right. Let's get back out here in the bees and see what we got. Uh, see if we can find more swarm cells. Okay guys, this is a colony that we went into the other day to, when I was making up stuff and I robbed some uh, frames out that had queen cells on them. And uh, I put in this one with just mono. This is 20 pound mono. You can see they're already starting to draw comb down here. I don't know about this girl's disposition. Seemed like last time I was in here she was a little cranky. Let's see if we got any more cells. Yes, we do. Look at there, guys. Right there, swarming cell. Okay. Very good. Very good. We're gonna grab one of my new nukes. Carefully, carefully. Now that's a medium frame, right? It's a medium frame, so I don't really have to worry too much about uh, smashing that cell on the bottom of this colony. So we're gonna grab one of our brand new puppies here. They can get out of this hole right here, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick. See this push pin right here? Let's go down here and just push that in. Get my bifocals right here. This is just for transporting, guys. And I'm going to haul this one to my other site. I don't have to. I could do it right here, but I don't have, I think I'm going to be robbing out one of those queens over there anyway. So this is cool. We're, we're, re, we're reducing the load. That's a nice looking cell right there, guys. And there's a lot of bees on this frame. There's one. I'm going to go get a top. I'll be right back. Okay, I got one of my plugs I'll put in there. See, when you bore these holes, save these plugs because you can just take a piece of anything, throw on the top, and now you've got a plug. How many more cells is she going to give us, guys? What else has this baby girl got to offer? Thing I didn't do is look that look that frame over super good. We're gonna have to here in a second. To make sure she's not on it. She probably isn't, but see there's nectar in here. That's good. These bees are nervous. These bees aren't the best in the West here. That's why we're going to be breeding more from my select queens. You just move, when you got testy bees, guys, you just move slower. If you got a real calm colony, you can really, you can really hustle with them. 
All right, this one's got a lot of resources here. Actually, I'm going to give this girl here this this frame also. Let's look this over again real close to make sure our queen's not on here. I just realized we got two cells here, guys. There's one right there, and there's one right there. And granted, I could try to cut them out, but more times than not, you're gonna you're gonna hurt the cell. I'm blowing on these bees, I'm blowing on these bees to make a move around so I can see if she's in here. be kind of a wasted effort if she was in here because she's going to take this little ball of bees and she's going to swarm with them okay she's she's not in here so okay they've got two cells to hatch there and they got nice little batch of resources here that's a good nook right there the only thing is I'm not thrilled with her genetics and this is a perfect time of day to work bees nice and sunny well, here's another one, guys. Look at here. Look at that big fat queen cell. All right. Cool, cool, cool. There's another one right beside it. Look at there. Another one right beside it. Looks like two cow titties hanging down. Cow titties and a beehive, Steve, really? Sometimes I come up with weird stuff, guys. I gotta apologize for that. I really do. All right, here's another one. Here's another one we're gonna steal. What's on this one? What have we got here going on, guys? No queen cells on this one, but I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to take both of these. Follow me. Follow me. Went down and picked up a free pallet today, guys. It was one of them stores that uh, does counter uh, kitchen cabinets and countertops, and they got piles of these out there. And the boys said, "Yeah." I said, "So much for that fish trap." All right, the paint has dried on these. So we'll just steal it. Let's put this on the back of my truck. It's going to that other bee yard. No, it isn't. It's going to go right here. It's 
gonna go right here. I've changed my mind. It's going right here. I'm gonna put a plug in it temporarily. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna get another tack pin and put in there. Keep that front end shut down. What's the date today? What is the day today? It, today is Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to put on here open Saturday. I'm going to pay open Saturday. And let her fly and do her thing. Okay, what other goodies we got in here? Boy, this this colony, this baby girl's giving us all kind of stuff, guys. All kind of stuff. Wow. Oh, look at them, the testy, see? Little testy. Okay, that one's set. That one's good to go. Put it on the back of my truck. What's this cluster of monkeys here? Make sure she's not wandering around on the side of the box. No, she's not. Okay. Back of my truck. This one's going to get hauled to the other yard. I got to get over there anyway, guys, because we got to. We're going to have to uh, do some work over there. I think we got a queen ready to come back to the house here. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Nothingness. Nothingness. Okay, that's cool. This is going to go in over here. A lot of nectar stores. Of course, I've been feeding them, you know. This, this frame's doing nothing. Ouch. Let's put that right there. Nice. Let's see how much elbow room these girls are going to need here because I got a hunch they need lots. Just smoke them on down. Smoke them down, smoke them down. I like to work on my outside frames first and work my way in, but that was weird. 
seldom, seldom are these queens on the outside edge like that colony we was looking for the other, just over there a minute ago. Here's an excellent frame to make up starter with. It's got loaded with pollen, nectar, a total pollen frame. Beautiful frame. This colony, is this girl producing or what, guys? Look at the bees in this thing. She's a wild and crazy kind of girl. I'm looking for more queen cells, guys. She's just laying like... She's just laying like a freight train, guys. Wow, and look at the pattern. I mean, it's just... She's just blowing it out. Here's what we want to do here, guys. A little more smoke to calm them down. I'm going to give this girl a whole bunch of room. I'm going to make her work, guys. I'm going to make her work like a dog. Here's how I'm going to do it. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to bring some frames up to the top here. You want to you want to lay eggs, girl? All right. I'm going to let you get really happy here. I'm gonna let you get all kind of happy right here. So we'll put one like that, see? And we're gonna drop one in the middle here like this, see? We're gonna checkerboard it a little bit. Checkerboard this puppy. we got in this box guys yep 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 you want to work girl I'll tell you what I'm gonna make you work They're a nervous bunch. They're a bunch of nervous ninnies, but I like her pattern. And she's not that mean. She's got a little attitude, but she's not bad. All right, set this on and just slide them down. Slide them down so you're not crushing a bunch of bees and pissing them off any more than you need to be. There you go. You think there's some bees in this box, guys? What do you think? What do you think?
Got him a little cranky. Got him a little cranky, not bad. All right, now we have, uh, now we haven't guaranteed here that she's not gonna swarm. I haven't guaranteed nothing. Okay, guys? Took a few hits in the back. I'm spraying a little. Okay, guys, what I like to do on these is just... You can get this stuff at office supply stores and stuff. I'm gonna put this in up here. I'm gonna put that sack of dirt up there next to it so it don't fall over. And I'm gonna carry this with us to that other yard because I may need it over there. But what I wanted to show you here was uh, this little operation here. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, we got plenty of melted wax now See Plenty of wealth melted wax And we'll just set this puppy up here and go down through there like this right on the edge And we're just kind of don't get it in the cups Don't get it inside the cups just right along the edge like this. I don't know if you can see this or not. Operation here. See, all I did was just run the wax with my brush right along this edge here. Like so. There you go. That's welded them down nice. Set that over here for the moment. Let's do another one. Normally I do this over the pot, but I, you guys can't see what I'm doing, so I'm doing it here for you guys. Wasting a little wax, but at least you guys get the idea. See, it's seeping between the cells. Got these bees chasing me in the barn here. You think they love me, guys, or what? Okay, that's that. Okay, I can shut that off the lid on unplug it so we don't have a burn the barn down or something crazy I want to add just a little bit more here this looks a little light another thing too guys they can use this wax They can strip this wax over here and use it to create their peanuts. Yes, they can. Yes, them sweet little baby girls can. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, tomorrow I will put this, this bar in, in that hive, in that cell starter. All right, let's get over to that other yard. Okay, guys, we're over at this other yard. And I dummied up, forgot to bring a bucket. Dang it. Forgot to bring a bucket. Uh, what have we got going on here? I need to look in all these.
but right here these two this one and this one uh, we made up on 310 so it's 411 now yeah this one's right in direct sunlight so I'm gonna put that there this one's kind of shaded and I'll get over here in a day or so and put more on this so let's get into this colony here get a hive tool get the smoker cranking here a little bit more See how friendly these little girls are. I just called Miss Daisy before I left and I said, don't go outside. Okay. She knows what that means when I say don't go outside. I don't know. I don't know what we got here, guys. The proof's in the pudding. Well, that's a pretty frame. Pollen, stores. Yeah, yeah. All in the beefy SD beefy platform. You gotta love that, right? Okay, I'm not too excited yet, guys. I'm not too excited yet. Or am I? Yes, I am excited. Yes, I am excited, guys. There she is. There she is. Nice golden queen. Nice golden queen. You see her? It's a young girl. A young baby girl. What do we have here, guys? We have a $100 bill in Steve-O's world. It's a $100 bill in Steve-O's world, guys. Now, I gotta take it over to my truck. show you what we're going to do with that little nook I just opened up. Whoops. I didn't, I didn't like that. Bottom fell off. Whoops. Normally there's enough propolis on there to really hold that thing tight. So what we do here is this. There. Now we'll take that shrink wrap, go around the lid and this way and that bottom won't fall off. But here's what we're gonna do with this little guy we just set up here. 
these bees, a lot of them coming back. And they were coming back to here. They're all gonna go in here. Okay, you like that idea, guys? Look at them. New home. We're queenless, but we got two ripe cells. All right, what do we got here? These were these were uh, swarm cells, by the way, guys. Both of these colonies. So it's been 30 days since I made them up with them cells and I haven't touched nothing. I haven't even peeked in these hives. Nothing. Just set the queen cells in and walked away. Come back in 30 days. Today is, what did I say, 11? Yeah. Okay. Today's the 11. 311. So I'm going to put check 411. Any of those cells that hatch just going to fatten this hive up. Plus, we're feeding, right? And she's going to come back. And we come back on 411. If these queens made it back from their mating flight, we have got to get these guys out of here into a five framer, okay? They're gonna swarm if we don't. How are these bees? Chilling. They're chilling. Do we have a queen? We got an empty frame here, I know that much. They, they're starting to draw a little comb. Oh, heavy frame. Heavy frame full of pollen. Yes. Getting the light, see if I can see anything here. This is not a good sign here. I've got queen cells here. There's our new queen right there. See her? There's our new queen right there. But they got two queen cells here. I'm gonna pinch them off. Oh yeah, she's laying good. Look at her guys, she's laying good. She's laying this sucker up. I want to fatten this colony up a little bit guys before I sell it. So I'm gonna take it back to base camp also. Take it back to base camp also and fatten it up and it should be ready to go in about a week so we just made two hundred dollars guys
All right, I'll shrink wrap those down. Now I've opened this stand up here for more bees. Let's go into this colony and see if anything's happy in here. I don't remember what the situation was on this colony. I never wrote nothing down on it. This may be a colony that's had a virgin in it and I let it set aside. I think that's what happened. Yeah, this colony here, this colony here has fallen down. It's going back to, it's also going back to base camp. That's all right, we can use these frames right here. Keep these frames going, you don't want the wax mold eating the stuff up. I'm not Donald Trump, I can't afford it or mini mic. Isn't that something, mini mic, guys? Isn't he a beauty? Mini mic. That guy, that guy spent, four, what did he spend? $450 million dollars and he's still spending money, from what I understand, running ads for Bernie and, and uh, Biden. Can you imagine if he just gave me five million? Somebody get the word out to Mini Mike. Steve-O wants five million dollars. Now, what am I gonna do with that money? We're gonna create a bee farm uh, from hell, okay? I want to buy land. I, I know where the land is in Florida. I want to go to North Florida and buy some land in Tupelo land. We can make Tupelo honey. That's one of the best crops in Florida. We want to buy land over there where there's orange trees or whatever. I want to buy land down by the Everglades. I want to buy some up by Northport, Port Charlotte. And then we're going to set up a, uh, a wood mill to start cranking out these. We're going to start hiring people like you guys that love bees as much as I do and um, we're gonna start raising bees and pollinate pollinating everything in the United States okay that's what we'll do we'll set up a farm and uh, we'll pay good wages uh, what is that today $20 an hour or some crazy number I don't know but you know that's something for you guys to think about but whoever which somebody out there knows um uh mini mike mini mike and so get the word to him steve-o needs i don't know five five million ten million you know it doesn't really matter that much to mini mike because he spent 450 million to get his ass chewed out by elizabeth warren right so Hey, throw Steve-O a bone and let's get the ball rolling, guys. All right, that's enough for today. Um, we're just, you know, this is just starting, guys. We got to get cranking. We're going to make lots of bees. And you know how I roll. We're going to get her done. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Be happy. Be strong. We got to keep getting her on. And somebody please talk to Minnie Mike. See ya.